So far, we've learned how to use projection to place new canvases in the scene and adjust those canvases. Now, let's take a look at the bookmarks so we can create a fly-through animation of this spatial drawing. I already have a few bookmarks that I saved as I was creating this scene. I can tap on these bookmarks to return to the views, or I can press play here and the animation will move from bookmark to bookmark like this. Hit the play button to see how it looks. This is a good start, but I want to make some adjustments. Let's add some more views of the scene that we like. Go to viewing mode to look around. Every time you find a view that you like, tap the camera icon to save it. If you want to make some adjustments, you can hold down and drag to rearrange. You can also hold for a moment and you'll see a larger thumbnail appear with the option to delete. I'll make a few adjustments to my bookmarks and press play again. Now we can adjust the timing. You can expand the bookmarks bar by dragging up on the tab to reveal the timeline. Drag the slider under each bookmark to extend the time that the camera stops at that bookmark. You can also drag between bookmarks to slow down or speed up the transition time in between those views. Test it out. Press play to see how it looks. You can also extend the entire time of your animation here, or add a loop at the end so the animation will keep playing. During playback, you can see where you are in your animation by looking for the progress bar that runs through the timeline. Try adjusting your animation now. Play with the timing and try rearranging the bookmarks. Now you've created a fly-through animation of your scene. In a later video, we will take a look at how to use the visibility tools to further edit the animation. That's what we'll use to customize which canvases are visible at each one of the views. But before we do that, let's take a look at some more editing tools that will be really helpful.